My mother is, um, well, she's 86 and she's northern but posh. Do you know what I mean? It's, she's a bit like scampy. And um, <laughs> so she's recently, in the last couple of years, she's been widowed and so she's doing the, the widow stuff and she phoned me up a, a few months ago and she said she wanted a tablet. And I said to her, you've got tablets. You've got <laughs> tablets for your heart, you've got tablets for your arthritis. She goes, you know what I mean. I want an Apple Macintosh tablet. It is not fair. Eileen and Joyce have got tablets. <laughs> well, this took me right back to when I was 13 and I wanted my ears pierced. So I said to her, oh, so Eileen and Joyce have got tablets, have they? And if Eileen and Joyce jumped off a cliff, would you jump off a cliff? Anyway, she wore me down. She wore, and I got her a tablet, I got her an iPad, and to be honest with you, for all the trouble, this thing <laughs> has caused, I might as well have bought her a Python. <laughs> because there is, I don't play computer games, but there is a level of tension that can only be reached by introducing an 86-year-old woman to the internet. Now, my mother is not stupid, but can she email? No, 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 she can't, no, she can't. She thinks she can, and she forgets what she's doing. So she didn't email my brother when he was on holiday last year, because as she said, well, I didn't know you could email Morocco. <laughs> so... <laughs> I give her, you've got to imagine this, I give her these classes, these one-on-one -on -one classes, and it's all right when I'm in the same room as her, um, because I know where my parents' drugstore is, I know where the diazepam is, so <laughs> it's all right. But sometimes I have to coach my mother over the telephone. I live in London, she lives up in Lytham St Anne's in Lancashire, and um, the telephone calls always go like this, right? This is me coaching my mother with her iPad. Have you turned it on? <laughs> what can you see? What can you see? goes, a naked man. <laughs> I say, what's he doing? She goes, he's got a vegetable hanging out of his bottom. <laughs> I said, well, what did you put into the Google search engine? She goes, interesting things to do with aubergines. <laughs> <laughs> a mug selection moment where most of my mugs have characters from Winnie the Pooh on. <laughs> and I thought, that's not. That doesn't suggest a man who's in control of his life. <laughs> so I'm going to get screwed over on price. The minute you put, <laughs> yeah. you put a piglet mug down and suddenly the skirting board's a bit more expensive than it was before that.